In this video, let's learn about the use dispatch hook, which is used to dispatch an action with React Redux. Again, this is pretty straightforward. First, we are going to import use dispatch from React Redux. So in cakeview.jsx, at the top from React Redux, import use dispatch. Next, in the component, we call the hook. This hook returns a reference to the dispatch function from the Redux store. Let's save that reference in a constant called dispatch. This constant can now be used to dispatch actions when needed. For our buttons, let us now add a click handler. Begin by importing the action creators from the cake slice. Import ordered and restocked from cake slice. Now add the click handler. On click, add a function we call dispatch, passing in ordered. Again with parentheses. Similarly, on click, add a function dispatch restocked. And let's restock five cakes with every action. And that is all there is to it. If we save the file, go back to the browser and click on order cake, the count decrements by one. But since we still have the buy one cake get an ice cream free offer going on, the ice cream count value also decrements by one. Click on restock cakes and the cake count increments by five. I want you to now pause the video and try the same for ice cream view. Now the steps remain the same. Import use dispatch at the top and invoke it within the component. Const dispatch is equal to use dispatch. Next, import the action creators from the ice cream slice. So import ordered and restocked from ice cream slice. Finally, dispatch the actions on click of the button. On click, arrow function, dispatch, ordered with parentheses. Similarly, on click, arrow function, dispatch, restocked, and let's restock three ice creams with every action. If you now head back to the browser, order ice cream, the count decrements by one. Restock, and the count increments by three. Really simple as you can see. Now one thing I would like to mention at this point is that store only as much state as you need in the Redux store. Everything else can just be local component state. For example, instead of restocking by three ice creams every time, let's allow the user to enter a restock value. Let's add an input and track it with a state variable. So use state, let's call this value, set value, and the default value is one. Next, add an input element between the two buttons. Input type is equal to number, value is equal to the state variable value, and on change, get hold of the event and call set value passing in parse int e dot target dot value. Finally, use the value with the action creator. So dispatch restocked value. And this has to be react.useState. If you now head back to the browser, enter 10 restock, the count increases by 10. Change it to 5, the count increases by 5. What I'm trying to say is that the value of the input element does not have to be part of the Redux store. 
If something is not needed outside a component, it can stay as local state. Do not unnecessarily complicate the Redux store. But this is pretty much how you dispatch actions from a React component. Thank you for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you in the next one.